Hey guys, welcome back. Doing a vinyl review right now. So, as you can see, this is 30 Seconds to Mars, a beautiful lie album. Uh, this is one of my favorite records. And for quite a long time, it wasn't, it was very hard to get on wax, on vinyl. And the only way you could get it was a pretty measly picture disc. I don't, some people think that's cool. Anyway, I had the picture disc and I didn't like it didn't come with a case it was just in this plastic sleeve and um, anyway I ended up selling it for a lot of money but years went by and I wanted this record on vinyl again so I found it on the 30 seconds to Mars store and I said I'm gonna get that I will say it was $45 it's pretty expensive for a vinyl record and it cost $16 to ship so that's a lot of money for a record so I expected it to be pretty nice overall Starting with the packaging, the cover, it's nice. It's like satin, it's smooth. Um, it's not a gatefold. It's very nice. The inserts look like this, just the classic paper stock. Comes with two of them. It's two discs, and they're both 45s, which is interesting as well. So here are the actual discs. I was a little disappointed because the website had them advertised with a design that was not reflected in the product that I got here. The website also said that these are remastered, but it doesn't say, you know, the weight of the vinyl. So on that topic, I think that these sounded like crap. The, this is one of the worst sounding newer remastered pressings of a record I've gotten recently. I had the treble on my amp at like what was it maybe like seven seven or eight o'clock like almost all the way down it's very harsh i will give a thumbs up to the 30 seconds of mars store because they did include plastic protective sleeve um other bonuses there was a secret hidden track that i'd never heard before that was quite good called praying for a riot it's pretty cool uh, correct me if i'm wrong in the comments if that was released elsewhere but I've been listening to this band for over 10 years. I've never heard the track. That was pretty cool. And I forgot to mention, so I bought this from the 30 Seconds of Mars online merch store. There is also a signed version of this for 70 bucks. But yeah, so this is my review. I don't recommend it. Cool packaging on the outside. You know, for what I paid, I expected more intricacy on the discs itself and a better sound. Thanks for watching, guys.